Hey, 30 out 6 John here, and today what we're going to be doing is reloading and shooting 30 out 6. I've got this uh, Model 70 rifle here, rifle my dad gave me when I graduated high school. Nice gun. Shot a few heads of game with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, this rifle my dad gave it to me when I graduated high school. It's not a pre-64, but there's a bad era from about 64 to about 68, 69 that the rifles were sort of bad. This is actually after that. So it's probably been made about 1969 to about 73 or 74. Been a good rifle. I have a Leopold fixed four power scope on it. So let's get started on reloading. For bullets today, we're using Sierra Game Kings. These are 165. Should work pretty good. For primers, we are using CCI large rifle primers. For powder, we are using Winchester Stay Ball 6.5 ball powder. It seems to be a pretty good powder. I've been using it quite a bit. Also, one reason why I want to use it is because I keep seeing it on the shelves at the stores. For brass, I'm going to be using this uh, Federal Once Fired Brass. I have a whole bunch of it, four or 500 rounds, maybe 600 rounds of uh, this brass. I'm going to be using Hornaday full length uh, resizing and reloading dies. These are good dies. I'm going to be using a uh, shell holder Number one, this is a Hornaday shell holder. Does not come with the die set. You have to buy this separate. Our load data today is coming from the Hodgdid 2022 annual manual on reloading. In the section for 30-06, using a 165 grain Sierra Botel, using stable powder. Minimum load is 55.4. Maximum load is 60.2 grains. That's with a cartridge overall length of 3.30 inches. It says here they are using Winchester cases. I don't know how the case capacity for a Winchester case and federal case is. So I'm going to start mild and my maximum load is going to be 59.0 grains. Then we'll see how much uh, case capacity we have. All right, I've uh, deprimed and resized the first case. Looks good. The case is now primed. Once again, the big thing about priming is that you want to make sure that that primer is just below flush. Just fill it just below flush a little bit. Looks good here. All right, 59.0 grains of Stayball 6.5. Putting the powder in. see what the case looks like here if you look at that you can tell that it's uh, actually below the uh, neck so there's actually plenty of room if the bullet doesn't extend into the neck there's actually more uh, more room to add more powder all right we seated the bullet we are seating to an overall cartridge overall length of 3.30 inches and that's what we have right here. Looks good. When you look at this loaded round, then look at the bullet itself. It doesn't quite reach uh, all of the neck. The bow tail is about halfway down the neck. So when, when we put the powder in, there's actually plenty of room. We can in increase this load. Hey, we're back from the range. Let's re review the target. Uh, I was shooting the Winchester Model 70, Leopold fixed four power scope. That rifle has a 22 inch barrel. I was shooting at 75 yards. Uh, the Leopold fixed four scope, I was uh, having problems getting a really good sight picture on the bullseyes here. So I moved it into 75 yards instead of 100. <clears throat> My first load. Uh, 165 grain Sierra Game King, 56 grains of Stay Ball 6.5, C 
CCI large rifle primer overall length, cartridge overall length of 3.30 inches. Federal cases. Uh, my velocity average was 2693. It's a little slow, but 56 grains is a pretty mild load. A group, three shot group, was a one and three quarter inches. Next, I increased the powder two grains to 58.0 grains of stable 6.5. Um, the group tightened up a bit, inch and a quarter for three shot group. The average velocity increased to 2757 feet per second. My final load was 59.0 grains of Stayball 6.5. Uh, shot a nice one inch group. Now this is at 75 yards. The velocity jumped up to 2813 feet per second. So that right there, that's a good load. There's actually still plenty of capacity in the case. I'm sure I could have increased that probably one more grain uh, per the manual. I was 1.2 grains below max load. So there's a lot of potential and growth in this load. Hey, that's all that I have for today. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Everyone stay safe. Have a nice day and uh, keep on shooting.